So unlike typically, this is not me doing a local recording. I'm streaming it. Which means people are going to come into this chat and say hi, probably. But it just saves me a little bit of um, boredom. And also prevents the possibility of the um, replay not saving correctly. Although it's never failed yet during one of these videos. It has failed during like me saving like little parts for videos. Look, I broke the sign. I played this guy before. Aqua Berry. I seem to recall he was quite good. But I don't remember him being this good. So he probably got better. But I haven't played him in like over a year, I think. Hi. Steel's Edge. Um, so I'm not playing right now. This is just a replay, just so you know. Um, I figured I would put some of my recent matches onto um, CFN. I mean, onto YouTube from CFN. And um, do some commentary, I guess. Uh, this guy challenged me. He just came out of the blue on um, on Steam. He's my friend on Steam. And he was like, hey, Beth, let's play. And I was in the middle of making the Seth video. And um, I didn't spend the cash. <laughs> Greedy. I think I was like, I'll wait for him to activate and then I'll chip him out if it's dire. Later on, I make the opposite decision. And then later still, I make that same decision. You don't always need to spend the super to kill. You can maybe, like, sneak not spending the super to kill if it's leaving them a chip health, and if you think you'll be able to get the chip instead. If it's one of the characters who doesn't have a good reversal, you could also just do raw super. Like, Zangief can't do anything to get out of a raw super. Well, Zangief might be able to lariat. That's scary. That's like the max max range. I had to do just raw short. I couldn't have done jab short there. I played overall pretty good here. I actually play better and better as the set goes on, but like I do pretty well in general. He's got almost the same number of points as me, which is kind of funny. I had like 20.4k, 20, 20 and he had like 20.6k, so we were super close. Oops, that was kind of bad. I could have got some some anything better than that. Could have got a cancel. Hard DP, EX up fireball would be the two obvious ones. A trigger would have been good. I went for the. I think I went for. Oh, I forgot about that drop. All I gotta say is oof. He gets a few, like, he gets like three, like, really bad drops. Kami's a very punishing character, if you drop a combo. Hi. Kami will actually, like, die. All of her moves are really unsafe. And, like, bad to whiff, too. Some of her combos are kind of tight as well. No more tight than most of the characters in this game. I mean, Sakura has combos that are horrible to drop as well, because a lot of her enders are DPs. And if you drop a DP, they take ages to whiff. Even if you miss the light DP ender in a juggle, the opponent can quick stand and hit you, I think. And if you, like, drop a link into a DP, you look like an idiot. Fortunately, only EXDP is crush kind of punishable, so that often lets me kind of live. You know, people will do, like, let's say, Kami Stairman House, and they'll, like, expect it's a crush counter, and it doesn't. I think that happens once during this set. I think Kami still gets a link out of Stamranos, actually. She, like, I think that's plus three. I know this matchup really well. Well, not really well, but, like, pretty well. I know a lot of ways to make it a lot better from Sakura. I think it's probably a 5-5. Five, five, but I think it's, like, a 5... I think it's, like, a 50.1, 49.9. You know what I mean? In Kami's favor. I feel like the fundamental, like, the, the kit for both characters is fairly balanced. But, um... Uh, ooh. Don't do a double jab there. Only one jab. Kami sets the pace, is what I was going to say. So, like, it's like going second in chess. You know what I mean? Oh. I was going to do dash into walk back. That was a view race from him. But I ate it. Play the most? Maybe? I play Street Fighter 3 and 5 about an equal amount. Which is, like, a binge every few... Um, every few weeks. Four, I don't play so much anymore. Four is more frustrating to go back to for me because I drop links. It's like if you're not in practice for four, four feels really bad. Whereas you can kind of fall out of practice for five and you'll still be able to do everything. I appreciate that because I don't play very much. 
He does a lot of backdashes with reversals, and I actually admit I have a really hard time chasing them. One time I actually do a light tattoo on hit, and then I back fierce predicting the backdash, and the backdash still gets out of range before I can, like, hit him. Tried to reversal jab there, it was greedy. But if it hit, I got jab short. Oh no, that almost never drops. Oh, I had him there too. I jumped, um... I, like, didn't jump at first. I jumped a little bit. And he was ready for, like, every jump. And I think as the series gets on, I jump a little bit more and he's less ready for them, ironically. Like, normally if I get snapped out of... If I get hit out of every anti-air, I start jumping at weirder ranges. Like, I do some close jumps and he's not really as ready for those. But for the first half of this set, every jump I do gets fucked. There's really no reason to jump in this matchup. The only thing jumping does is it lets you potentially get a bad... Like, if you jump right as Kami does Crutch Fierce or Stand Fierce, it'll let you get, like, huge damage on them, but usually that doesn't happen. Why do some moves, like, reuse forward hard punch, hold an input buffer for so long? That one's actually a cancel. It's not an input buffer, it's just a cancel. It works exactly the same way a cancel does. It only cancels in top cut. Uh, I would have no problem if tap was minus one. You know how when you do like a crouch fierce from Sakura, you can cancel like at any point during the animation, you can like cancel to DP. And as soon as the cancel window pops up, it works. It's the same with reuse towards fierce. You rarely like, it's really useful. There are some moves that have long cancel windows, but reuse is kind of weird because it has the cancel window so far before the hit. Normally moves with long cancel windows, once you do the cancel, it just happens right away. But reuse. Uh, there's a couple moves that are like that, but Reuse is one of the... It's not normal. Caught him in the mid-air. Anti-airing Kemi is a mix-up if I'm on the ground. It's annoying. Uh, why it's like that is just so you have a DP Ender. It's, like an e it's probably an ease of input thing, but one thing about it that's kind of cool is it works at like any range. Ooh, like, that was lucky. And that was lucky as well. I like dropped the combo because it was too far out. I thought it was good enough, but it wasn't. And he view reversed right as I did a terrible DP. Anyway, Ryu can um, Ryu normally would prefer to link out of towards fierce, but on very distant connects, the link won't be possible. Or like he'll get a link that he can't combo out of, and hard DP is better. Like a, a distant crouching connect. The optimal thing Ryu can do is the hard DP cancel. And if he didn't have the hard DP cancel, he wouldn't have an ender. I actually wish they did more stuff like that, now I think about it. Because there's a few scenarios where, like, characters just don't have anything. It'd be kind of cool if they had something. I think he probably blocked the wrong way there. I don't think I got the landing frames. Uh, that was still a punish, I think. I could have had a jump in, but I think his my timing was weird, and his crutch fierce moved his hurtbox in a weird way. I empty jump low, I find people rarely like to anticipate. I've had really good success with that. He could have just DXDP'd me. It was a bad jump. I had a really high rate of success there. Like there was like very little he could have done to like punish what I just did, which was threaten a throw and then like delayed low shore. This guy was quite good. I think his matchup knowledge could have been a little bit better. But it didn't hurt him that much. Like, what he's doing is pretty much what a good Kami would do in this matchup. So in that, by that metric, he is a very good Kami. But there's always room for improvement. Ooh. That was a bad jump by me. Ah, oh, see that? He, I didn't punish him. Thought short would combo there, but it didn't. Hi. 
I have a vivid memory, since you say Barlog, just to bring this up. I have a vivid memory of playing Maple Story, and calling um, the Balrog, the Crimson Balrog. I was like the Balrog, you know. And someone else replied, um, "It's Barlog," and I was like, "Huh?" And I'm like, "No, it's it's like a Balrog." And he's like, "No, Balrogs." This is what he said. He said, "Balrogs are the thing from Lord of the Rings. This is a Barlog." Oof, that jump fierce. I don't like EXTPing. I think I only have like one get blocked. Oh, this guy was really good once I was in the corner. Oh, that was a bad drop from him as well. That was the... Uh, put him into the corner. A little whiff punish with the uh, walk in low forward. Look at my wiggling. They call me the god wiggler. Probably should have done the bounces. It doesn't really matter in the corner. Like, I'll kill him with the next hit regardless. MLG, wait patiently. I think that V skill 1, V trigger 2 is definitely the way to go for this matchup, by the way. The fireballs, you can't really charge a fireball versus Kimmy because it EX the uh, drill or super. And she usually has an EX drill. And generally, like, you know, the fishing for just raw cancels is a little bit harder. But light normals are really strong in this matchup. Sakura's light normals are good in general. But in this matchup, they pick up a lot of tight punishes. You can't do anything cool on minus four with V-Trigger two. I mean V-Trigger one. Fuck. Try to meet him there. See how he did the low dive kick? If I meet him midair, I'm good against most of the stuff he can do. Uh, out of a jump. But if he does like a low dive kick, or, uh, I might like whiff. And if he does low EX dive kick, I might just get hit on the way up. Ugh, oh, that was staying short. Oops. That was a pretty bad drop too. No. I like to ref it early rather than late. He was already baiting with it though, and that was the first time I got him for the trigger uppercut. Nice uppercut. Rarely came his uppercut there. It depends on the matchup, but almost always I could have got something better in that. Almost always I feel like Kami's do uh, back strong. Ah. See, he tried to roundhouse me. You see that? I mentioned that would happen. He ran house to a DP thinking it would be a crush counter and it wasn't. Cody technically still has criminal upper, I'll have you know. It's a super. But it's basically, functionally, it's just, you know, completely different. Oh, when Kami jumps in, if it's a dive kick, I can anti it with, like, a weirdly timed crouch fierce. Or like a crouch, or like a stand jab or something like that, I can anti air it. It's pretty easy to anti air a dive kick with a stand jab for most characters. It depends on your jab, but like anti air lightning will still work for that kind of thing. Um, and you want something you can react really fast with. But if you wait for the dive kick, and um, she doesn't do a dive kick, she'll just make you block an air normal. And that's pretty bad. And also she can do the hooligan, which is hard to react to, and she can dive kick early out of that, or EX dive kick early out of that. And the dive kicks are a lot more plus. And also, although a little bit slower to actually finish coming out. And also she can throw out of that. So if it's a hooligan, you just want to like down back and maybe anti-air. And meeting at mid-air is a bit more questionable. A regular air-to-air -air works pretty well. If he doesn't do a dive at all, if I just jump as he jumps and he doesn't look for anything, then I get jump strong. Oof. That was a bad roundhouse. That was that me trying to be reverse. <laughs> Didn't wait to block. When I lose, I lose hard. But I win the majority of the matches in this set. A good majority. I like that stand like kick he did. He's real good when he's laying on the pressure. Whoa. No tech though. Good information. Look at that whiff punish. Look at that reaction to the counter hit. I did a counter hit only combo. It didn't look like one, but it was. Ugh, this guy's got with the techs. That was nice. I like that he spends the trigger 
uh, in two separate things. I think that's the right way to go. I can't believe that worked. I had to jump medium kick. If I did jump heavy kick, I sure would have beat that. Kami stand runhouse is actually not too bad of an A tier. It's slow though. Kami stand medium kick I've never seen in my life. Gotcha. Lucky, lucky. I was almost out of it. How's the game sound, by the way? Is it too quiet? Oh, got him. DP was better there. Should have done a back face instead of low forward. There's only one frame difference between them. Sometimes I do low forward if I feel like speed's going to be an issue. Oops. That was supposed to be a cancel. And then I just got all confused and mash jab. And then I got I still had the DP like churned. Picked up the hit. Trigger's still dangerous. I'm waiting for a dive kick to trigger activate on it, I think. That one I wasn't confident about. Nor that one. Look at me just waiting patiently. There you go. I find that to be really helpful in this matchup. You can still do that with VT1, but you have to use EX. Light DP is not super reliable in that context. Light DP is a better anti air than I remember it being, though. It's actually pretty good. I labbed it recently. I was like, I already knew it worked, but I forgot it worked in as many, in as big a variety of scenarios as it does. Like, it's actually pretty good at not getting crossed up. No, I don't miss Winston in fights, to be honest. I went years and years with never going. I like being in my house. I like that all my classes have gone online, to be honest. Made it a lot more easy for me to like choose when I want to do my studying and whatnot. I've only got some Zoom conferences to worry about. And honestly, I can like surf the internet while I'm doing that. God, Kami's so scary when she corners you. What's my way out? The fuck is my way out? It's hard to find like an EX, like a button into EX for the activate. It's hard to find like an opening. I like wanted to like get some pressure going, but also... I was almost dizzy, so it was kind of a tricky situation. I'd already hit a button. Oops. He didn't punish. I think he only punished one of those, but I only do like two or three on block total. It's like minus seven or something, or minus ten. It's like unsafe. Every character can punish it, but it it's not point blank, so you might have to do something kind of weird to punish it. Kemi could just do low forward, or like even stand fierce, I think. <laughs> that jab was pretty good. Oh, I tried to meet him in air. See how I whiffed and see how he punished me? That's the downside. That's why air to air is... It's like my best anti-air in this matchup, but it's not reliable. But the upside is that if he's doing instant air dive kicks or instant air EX dive kicks, those are minus. And he can't choose mid-jump which one he's going to go for. He has to commit really early to get a low dive kick. So, like, it's, it's an awkward situation trying to anti-air against a good Kemi. It's like a bit of a mix, and if she's right, she can just like get point blank and plus. I burned it. Soccer is confirms aren't super tight. The one I'm never react to is two crutch jabs. I like cannot do that one. But it's easier to buffer um, the short, I find. I do the forward plus the short together. <laughs> See how I said dive kicks lose really bad to Oh no that drop Dive kicks are lose really bad to anti art light normals. I think we just saw it there. Dive kicks have a really bad hurtbox, but the upside is you know the pause and the angle. Don't think that that if that stand jump was cancelled to the EX, which it was supposed to be. I tried to do two into EX and I just missed it. But that would have been really nice. That was too far away for two, but I missed the timing anyway. I really like that he saves one. I think that's the right play. I've seen a lot of Kami's, they just use two. And using two is almost never the play, unless the second one's going to kill, I think. I'm looking for that hit. I got it. I got the hit. Probably bouncing was good there. I should have done the three, the, the Otoshi. I think I do a random dash in and get hit here. Yeah. I was like, I haven't really repped forward dash at all against this guy. Let's just do dash and throw, and I'll win. And then he hit me, and I didn't win. 
these things can happen. I haven't been keeping score. I think the final score ended up being something like five to ten or four to ten. I got him in the set. Yeah, I buffer like everything. That's like the trick. Is whenever I've I've been doing that since Street Fighter Three. Whenever I do stand strong as or in Street Fighter Three or when I used to, I would just do the whole super motion every single time. And that way when you react, you only need to react with the button press, not with the motion and the button press. And I do that in this game with like um Sakura. Yeah, that actually happens with every character. It's funny that you point that out. Silas Grayson. Um every jump becomes a forward jump when it comes to air cancels. So like um like let's say Seth jumps Seth dive kick only works on forward jump or neutral jump. But um uh if you do jump back strong and the strong hits as a punish, then um Oof. Dive kick cancel is possible. So yeah, you can see that it works for every character, I think. Yeah, that one works as well. Kage jump back medium punch into EX Tatsu. And that's like a that's like the main use for the air to air normals. That's actually like what they're for. They're good for really close anti airs. If someone's like close enough, if someone's like one blocked medium normal away from you in distance and they hold up forward, most anti airs like fail at that range. But meeting someone midair is really good. I threw a fireball just to kind of remind him it existed. He does like two V skills total in the whole set. I'd like to bait those, but it's not so easy. Most camis treat it like it doesn't exist, which is probably the right way to do it. Hartatsu does nothing in this matchup, by the way. I thought this was pretty good. Oof. I did wake up low forward, I think. He, I think if he did a regular combo, if he did like Sand Strong, Sand Fierce, Uppercut maybe? Uppercut does more damage than Drill, right? Um, he might have killed me without the meter. But it's good to be safe. It would suck that he had to spend a meter for that like tiny amount of damage though. That's a new combo. Well, not new as of Season 5, it's like new of Season 3. But every time I landed, I'm like, yes, cool. Or season four. It's a season four combo. That six frame low forward. Nice anti air. Then he got me. Perfect combo. Kemi has to do a little micro walk there. It's not super duper precise, but it's annoying that she has to do it. She can always just use swords roundhouse. But though, it's stronger to do the walk, the micro walk, stand strong, stand fierce. So it's always cool when you... S I, I buffered the super so hard, but I didn't get it in time. But here I'm going to try and chip him out. I think I remember how this one works. He, like... I'm waiting for him to activate. And I'm like, okay, once he activates, I'll just dash in and fucking do, like, short DP super. And then he activates. And, like... um, It, it just hits. I do the dash in. Does he activate? Yeah. <laughs> so I was still going to win if that was blocked. Because he had no escape anymore. But it just hit him. <laughs> the cancel did nothing. By input assist, I assume he means like the non-perfect motion still counting as perfect motions. Stuff like uh, down forward, down, down forward counting is where you can... That's one you probably wouldn't want to get rid of. Actually, most of the ones in this game I find to be helpful. I can't think of an input assist that I don't like. The one that might be bad is... Um, down back to forward being a half circle. Because that might give you, like if you're trying to down back and then do a B reverse, that might give you a half circle forward. But my character doesn't have that, so. There's no reason to roll across the bottom anyway. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. He did not. I should have got a DP there. I went for DP into super, but I got the super. I was a little bit overzealous. Um, he like tests. I noticed that about this guy pretty early. If if there's any question on whether I have Oki, he wakes up with Crush Jab. It's a good habit. It's actually like a really good habit. Occasionally it fucks him over though. Just in in general, that's like oh fuck. I hate that. I see that he's doing the dive. I'm like, okay, here we go, and I do a delayed button press, and my fucking stand jab just whiffs on the on the slide. I see that he's doing the slide. Right. If I did strong, it would only be one frame slower, and it would like lead to a full combo, and it wouldn't whiff on a fucking sliding opponent. There's a consistent timing you can use there, and that's what I have, but it used to work with other characters, but it doesn't work with Sakura. If you just wait patiently until it would turn into the slide and then hit your button then, either you've already dive either you've already blocked a dive kick, or you're gonna interrupt the slide. Because those are like the only things she can do. Epic. That was mm, that was a that was a really bad decision by me. It wasn't a fuck up, it was just dumb. It was like super dumb. That combo already doesn't work on catching opponents and he was super far away. I just got kinda fucked over in the corner there. I start doing a little better as the set goes on. I feel like every single gauge that's like offensive versus defensive, every single player has it capped out at offensive. Sakura is not really a rushdown character in the spectrum of this game. If you just put her into another game, she would be considered a rushdown character. Or like Sakura playing the way she does here. Oof, nice whiff punish. He actually hit the extended her box. Oh no! I like the DP ender. I blocked that like a cross up, but it never crossed me up. I was like, oh, good shit. That was a really good bite round by him. You'd have to play certain characters to have defense higher than offense, I feel. I was just looking at it because both of us were capped out. He did stand fierce there! What was it supposed to be? What the fuck was it supposed to be? What? Why would you hit Fierce there? Crash Fierce is like a pretty bad anti-air. Stan Fierce is a horrible anti-air. And she has no like Fierce normal. I mean Fierce special move. Fierce hooligan. Some of the charts in this game seem to make absolutely no sense at all. See, there was like, he like hit a button as he landed I think. Well I didn't get counter hit. I don't know what the fuck he did. I think maybe he thought I was going to cross him up. I didn't have a conversion from that second hit, but the first one I could have done short. I haven't been getting a lot of mileage out of stay, uh, low strong in this matchup. I kind of realized that right there. I was like, eh, let's see if we can make it work. I considered burning super and chose not to. I'm like, I'll just chip him out if worst comes to worst. Because he had no V meter. I think that was the right play, but it was it's always a little bit risky. I had a nice life lead. I was playing art earlier, and I did that. Like I, like I, I, ha I was up like eighty percent to like ten percent, and I burned a super to kill. And it was like, did I need to do that? Oh, it was like a, a, a moment where it was like probably a really bad idea. I was up a, um, I was down a round two, and up like eighty percent. So basically, went into the round three with uh, full meter, and I went in with none. Another one of those will kill him. Uh, the forward dash dodges the viewerverse, and it's also plus two if he doesn't do anything. That was really nice. That low fierce was good, and the conversion was good too. I let it myself get thrown. I was like, I won't die to a throw. And then he forward dashed after his throw, which is definitely minus. So I just buffered. I don't know if it's a punish, I don't know if he's minus four. But I figured he would be kind of in a hurry. If you know what I mean. I weighed my options and played the end game of that, like based on risk reward, and it came out nicely.
I think the 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 cost of the V system is really good, to be honest. I think um most two bar triggers are generally worth genuinely worth two bars. Most um three bar triggers are genuinely worth three. And most V reversals are generally worth one. Genuinely. I don't know why I kept saying generally. Vegas can be good. It's like the worst at... He, he would really appreciate a normal one. Vega would appreciate a regular ass... Um... Virus. And yet, the Virus that Vegas has is actually pretty good. It's just that he needs, like... He needs a regular Virus more than he needs the one he has. But Vegas Virus can do a lot of weird stuff that you, like, wouldn't really think about. And it's, like, a little bit better than the rolling Virus is at doing it. Because it's a little bit faster. Like, you can use it to punish, like, uh... Ugh! Sakura sucks! I forgot about that. A lot of people hold up forward once they see me charging that. Didn't even fucking hit. Um... Like, let's say, like, a Chun-Li EX Legs is the example I like. Vega can punish that on block. For every other character, it's minus two. But Vega can actually get, like, a Stand Fierce on it. And it's reactable, too. Vega's kit is really strange. His old backflip should be a regular move with the VS2 follow-up. That's, I mean, you just basically described VS2, right? You think you should have it when he's in VS1 as well? Is that what you're saying? That'd be nice. That'd be something. Anything would be a step up from what he has right now. Gotcha. It actually does optimal damage to do all three there, if you're not using any resources. See how, it, like, he didn't... He, like, just it, instant wake up. Hi, Glar. Uh. Then I got him. That angle was really bad. Even if I did, like, reaction trigger, I think it wouldn't have been good. I think burning both of his triggers there was good. Or both of his, yeah, trigger uses. I'm looking for an EX Fireball. I think I don't get it. Uh, EX Fireball activate would have killed him, I think. If it landed. But finding it is the question. It's so hard once I'm in the corner. It's hard for her when she's in the corner, too, so... Oh, my low short! That was a little early. Oops. Times, like, two. There was one round we had where it just ended in, like, a mess, and we both just typed fucking crying faces to each other in the Steam chat. Oh, see that crouch jab I got? Actually, you can... Ugh, I'm not... I'm never ready for that. But, um... You can do, uh... Low forward counter hit into, uh... Stand short into uppercut. You can react. It's very reactable. That was actually a bad uppercut. I don't know why he did that. It lowers your damage and spends your V meter. Like, he would have still had a dive kick if he didn't do that uppercut there. And also, like, he did less damage because he did that. So it was, like, really bad that he just did that. That's why you always see Kimmy's do the... Just the drill into raw super. And never the drill into uppercut into raw super. He, like, did something that used a resource... Lowered his damage, and um, made the combo a lot harder to do. I feel like Fireball isn't useless in this matchup. Look at that. But um, see that wake up jab? He was like, it was a weird knockdown. He was like, okay, any weird knockdown, I jab. I could have punished it. I wasn't there in time, but I didn't. I waited. I, like, should have done a meaty because he had no meter. Hatatsu does nothing in this matchup. Every now and then I just do something, you know? That's a good trade for me because I got out of the corner. Now I'm back in. Great conversion. He got, like, a counter hit, um, since short, I think, which is, like, plus four, plus five. And then he got the back strong link, which is four frames. And then he got the full combo out of that. Really cool. 
That backdash, it's so hard to chase. I'm only plus one after I lied Hatsu. I wish I was plus two. Capcom, please. If you're gonna change Sakura, give me plus two. Plus two light Tatsu. Oh, this guy's teching is actually really good. I might have Corona. I like don't know. Isn't that kind of scary? I've had a cough for like a week. And like a little bit of a runny nose. And I've been feeling kind of hot. It like really could be Corona. But I've, it's been like very low symptoms. So I must be one of those either. Either it's not Corona. Or like it is Corona. And um, I've got the near asymptomatic version. I was thinking, I was t talking to my mom about that today. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if we like, we both got Corona and we were both asymptomatic. Uh, stand jab doesn't work. You have to stand short. Kemi's uh, V versus minus four. I haven't been, like, I've barely had a cough. I've just been coughing like whatever. I don't know, like where would I get the common cold? I'm like not seeing any other humans. Like I'm not just I'm not just uh quarantined from from the coronavirus, I'm qu quarantined from every virus. Anyway, I'm just staying at home either way, doing nothing. No shortness of breath, no aches. That was the scramble. What a mess. That drill would have been a punish, he just didn't do it as a reversal. I took my temperature today just to see what it was, and um, it was 99.0, which is like barely above normal. For all you uh, centigrade guys, Celsius guys. 98.6 is standard. It's, I mean, that's a scenario, like, you know, most people have never blocked a Sakura Super. So, like, you know it's unsafe, but you don't know what the punish is going to be. You don't know how minus she is. You don't know if you can get a jump in. You don't know if you have, to, if you have time for a forward dash. You don't know how far away you're going to be. That was actually a punish on the dive kick. I look for that a lot. Rarely do I get it, but it feels really good when I get it. He could have supered me. He could have just raw drilled. There were a lot of things he could have done. He might not have known which fucking version of super to do. If I'm in the corner, I don't know if hard super can go over my head or not. Look at this. Look at this trigger. Ooh, I barely got it in time. That one was so close. I did a... Uh, I did a... Um, EXDP with my inputs. That's an option select. If the timer runs out, then you get um, EXDP. And if the timer doesn't run out, you get V trigger DP. Very, very easy option select. Gotcha. Optimal. Optimal. You actually can get a bigger Tatsu there, but it's really hard to get a Tatsu that's not light Tatsu in that context. But it's kind of cool to see that. It's like a hard combo to get in a real match. Why does Kimmy get Oki on her super? Good. Look at that cross under. I should have activated though, maybe. But then I just hit him with the low forward activate, which is plus six. So I was like, here comes my win button.
YouTube series for Omega Cactus. No, dude, fucking do it. You don't need my blessing, but here it is. I don't care if you do. I don't care if you just remake my fucking videos that I already made, but just do your own voiceovers. If you want, I can also just fucking host anything you make on mine. But, you know. I could understand wanting to grow your own channel. Oh! I want to take all the ones I made for sure. You can put them on my channel, but I don't know who to ask. I don't know if anyone would care. Because, like, no one asked for them in the first place. I got that stand. What a mess. What a mess. I got a stand jab and then didn't get the stand short link. I'd like to enter one of those. I've had like work or classes every time he's had one. Or that I, that I knew about. I've already got an Omega video of my own. So you could send people that, like the changes of Omega mode. But um, making your own would be good too. I talk about like the general differences between them. I talk about like the way that meter is spent. See, I tried to back fierce predicting the backdash, and I didn't even chase the backdash. I was like, if I get the meter connect, it won't even matter. I think this is our last set. I accidentally got him out of the corner, so I didn't get a jump in. I don't think that combo could have killed anyway. Oof, that was a viewers. But it hit me. Oh, something really funny happens at the end of the final match I win, I think. I activate as an anti-air, and it's going to whiff. So I just whiff punish it. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm like, oh, he's going to land in front of me and be like, you know, minus whatever. He's going to have the landing recovery. I'll just hit him in his landing recovery. It's beautiful. Art, how perfect it was. Yeah, that was the last one.